So here we have two rectangle masks and then the circle mask right there covering their faces. Hey guys, welcome back to our video. Today I want to show you how to blur face or faces in CapCut PC. So first thing you're going to want to do is drag your video clip onto the timeline and then at the very top uh, you'll go under the effects tab and from here uh, you should see multiple tabs along the very left. Uh, I'm going to show you two ways on how to do this, an easy way and a little bit more tedious way. So the first way is go under video effects, go under face uh, mosaic, and then you just click and drag uh, this effect and you can see that it will just automatically detect the faces. You could just even move this effect around just to give you guys an idea. So boom, effect is on and you can see it automatically detects faces. I think uh, this version as of right now could only uh, blur like five faces. Uh, so you could just click and uh, extend this effect to the whole clip if you are happy with the result. And let's say I didn't want to have uh, this main person's face blurred. I could just click on it and it would just blur uh, all the faces in the background. I'm just going to let it play out so you can see. Now you can see this person's face is flashing in and out so it's not perfect this way. Uh, but it's just a real quick way you could just drag an effect on and it'll blur faces. So uh, let's go over to the next way. So still under uh, the effects tab, we're going to go under video effects and we're going to type in blur, right? Let it load. And there's a bunch of different ones here. Uh, I personally am a huge fan of this one. Uh, you can just click through and see which blur you would like. Um, but let's say I'm a fan of this one. Uh, so we're just going to apply it to the clip. And then we're going to, along the very right hand side here, you see that this is basic and a tab that says mask. So we're going to uh, go under mask and then we're going to uh, add mask. So click here and then you could choose the shape. Uh, I personally like the rectangle shape. So let's say I just want to make this a little bit smaller and we're just going to cover the front person's face, right? Now, uh, as you can see, if you let the video play out, uh, this is going to move and not follow her. Uh, but if you want it to follow her, you could just click this one button right here, still under the mask tab, scroll down until you see a section that says track mask. And we're just going to click on track and we're just going to let it process until it goes up to 100% here. So in the processing phase, and there we go, we're at 100%. So we can just let the video play out and you can see that uh, the blur mask is actually tracking her face and following it. So you could do that um, very easy once again. I mean, it's a little more tedious than just clicking and dragging the first effect. And let's say you want to blur out another person's face. So we're just going to throw uh, the blur back on top of there. And we're just going to add mask once again. And then we're going to adjust the size of the mask. And let's say we want to blur this guy's face out. So we're just uh, size it up here. And then again, scroll on down, click on track and wait till it gets to 100. Okay, let's just uh, play the clip again. So you can see primary person has the mask and this person back here that I selected had the mask as well. And yeah, it does a really good job of tracking and um, just blurring the person you want to blur. So again, we could just repeat this step for as much as you, pop you want to take the blur effect, put it onto your clip, mask, add mask. And let's say we want to circle this time and you could just uh, adjust the circle. Say we want to uh, blur out this person right here, put it on that person, scroll down, track, and just let it process once again. And then we're going to have a circle mask here. Okay, and then we're going to play the clip. So here we have two rectangle masks and then the circle mask right there covering their faces. If this video helped out, be sure to hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.